plug me in. We gotta get out of here. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to CCTV. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to CCTV. Chris speaking. What you're looking at is that a is that a morphing um, ship shooting out a beam of plasma light. I don't know, but watch the colors inside and see what they're hiding. This thing morphs. I had other pictures, but I lost them. But um, I did a little filter on this, put it through fluidity, gave it a smooth transition. You just watch, and the music will be a little bit softer, okay? But I had to like startle you a little bit, you know. This is some weird stuff I'm showing. So, you know, uh, this is the age of deceit. This is when, you know, I'm telling you they're setting this stuff up so they come out on the scene with it and fire from heaven, like the Bible says. And so, my take on this is just that they're setting the narrative up, they're doing something to the earth, obviously, they're beaming something, or beaming somebody up. I don't know. Anyways, this is very real. I didn't make it up. It's real. Someone asked someone on Facebook about my uh, angels on that cloud with the horse on the left. It's like a Pegasus. But check this out right here. You see that thing that forms right there, that horizontal line? I have no clue where that came from. But after I did my little bit of filtering, it popped up. There it was. So looks like some you know cgi overlay right there but on top it looks like it's in the sky i think if it's a cgi overlay they messed up but anyways then it disappears well, all right so this thing's sitting up there just you know being a ufo and uh taking care of its activity with that blue beam keep watching it's going to get way more weirder than this thanks for coming to cctv where life is strange all the time walking in the spirit room Discovering spiritual things, discovering natural things in the sky, waiting for Jesus, watching and praying. I'm still I'm still here, folks. So I'm not gonna quit. All right. ship thing with the plasma strike on earth or the beaming someone up or hijacking a soul um, it looks like you know the circle and the two lines right smack in the middle of this thing looks like starship enterprise just saying kind of has that look but i actually think the whole thing is like the lady said it's a morphing cloud star lots of energy in it so i did a little bit of filtering and i bring it all the way down to a lower light um to come. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. So I'm going to end this video with this pretty star. I have a uh, cloud I want to show you guys. Show you guys and bring it in real close. Unbelievable amount of ships that are parked on top of the cloud. I know. It sounds like Chris. You need to take your medication, right? Nope. More Jesus, the better. Believe me, guys. I have another video coming up where I went over years of ministering and where I caught pictures of angels and phenomena. Not paranormal godly spiritual angelic phenomena and I, I forgot about all of it, a lot of it but i'm going to show you guys in a little video in a, in a little bit so keep watching this this thing is definitely a craft and it definitely can morph and change colors 
um, you know, just gets weirder. But the great time of deceit is now. And men's souls are being traded right now on the stock market. If you got a social security number, you're tradable. Anyway, that's all i got to say about that. Enjoy the rest of the movie. I'm going to put some, one last song on. I'm going to rock it out, all right? So don't be offended. Don't be offended. I'm going to rock it out. I mean, this had been found and inspected sometime last week. Our correspondents in Los Angeles and Chicago have been in contact with Army officials endeavoring to obtain all possible late information. Joe Wilson reports to us now from Chicago. The Army may be getting to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying saucer. As a matter of fact, the 509th Atomic Bomb Group headquarters at Roswell, New Mexico, reports that it has received one of the disks which landed on a ranch outside Roswell. The disk landed at a ranch at Corona, New Mexico, and the rancher turned it over to the Air Force. Rancher W.W. Brizel was the man who discovered the saucer. Colonel William Blanchard of the Roswell Air Base refuses to give details of what the flying disk looks like. In Fort Worth, Texas, where the object was first sent, Brigadier General Roger Ramey says that it is being shipped by air to the AAF Research Center at Wright Field, Ohio. A few moments ago, I talked to officials at Wright Field, and they declared that they expect to send...